here. We're gonna go all the way around this side where the uh, gentleman standing at over there. And we'll have a covered area so that way the people who push, push, push in the basket won't turn around and, and, and they can be able to get to their cars real easy. Over here we're going. Well, when it, when it rains, it, it, it turns around and there's a lot of things that's going on. Uh, we are already cleaned up the floor here from where all the stuff is washed in from this area over here. We have a lot of uh, dirt, mud funnel, mud, and we're going to have to trample through the day. And the cars have to come in and they got to go through all of that. You'll see the, the, the mud tracks. I need this air, whole area right here uh, concreted. We're trying to find some way, means of how to get it done uh, to raise the funds on doing it. Uh, the program that's going to be in February, the third Sunday, is to help allocate monies for all of this, what we're doing here. You can see over here how we are setting in the, in the mud. Over here, I'm trying to get this stuff done. And this is the area they're going to have to come through. Like this. And so we want to turn around and concrete this back this way. We, we're looking to turn around and expand. We need a uh, more of a storage space. So over here where we got the two containers that were donated to us by Orlando Sanchez. Uh, we were running for uh, city controller's office. Uh, he donated these two trailers and we want to cover the center of it and the over that to make more storage room. Uh, we just got a deal with Amazon, uh, so we want to make sure that we have a place to keep it before and get it everything repaired, go through it to make sure before we, it's good in working order before we give it out to, uh, to the community. Is this your first time here? Do you, what do you think about Joseph's house? You love him? They assist you and give you the things that you're needing? Okay, how about the hospitality? Really nice. All right, thank you for stopping by. Enjoy, have a blessed day. I like it. I like coming here. Everything is nice, orderly, and decent, and I love it. Oh, thank you so much. Just now, I know for about uh, about seven years <clears throat> here at this building. Actually, we started over off Anderson Road, but we continued when we moved over here uh, off of Justin Drive. And what we call this is uh, Joseph House, or actually Living Waters subsidiary uh, Joseph House uh, Pantry. And what it is is community food pantry where we feed the community every second, third, and fourth Thursday of, of the month. Now we have it broken down into divisions and we have like the, uh, the second Thursday of each month is where we take care of our handicapped, elderly, and disabled. In the third Thursday, we cater to our veterans and our veterans only. And as you see today, which is the fourth Thursday, is the general population, and this is where everybody can come uh, and come to the pantry. And if you have uh, missed your designated day, then you can you have another opportunity to come today and uh, receive food or receive services from us. And what we hear, not only do we just give out food, but we also give out household uh, household needs items, such as small appliances, we give out cleaning supplies, we give bedding, we give um, shoes, and we give clothing as well too. And of course, all of these things are brand new, and we'd like to also give shout out to our partners, which is Walmart, um, Amazon, 360, and various other partners that help us uh, provide for the community. All right, here at uh, the Living Waters uh, Joseph House area, what we do is the we are open here to the public Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of every week for uh, 10 to 2 o'clock uh, each day. On our Thursdays, the second Thursday is for the elderly and handicapped. The third Thursday is for the veterans and the fourth Thursday is for the general population. Yet they are able to come throughout the month, twice a month here to get food, clothes, uh, small appliances. They're able to get gardening uh, uh, tools. They're able to get dog food, bicycles, toys, blender, 
this is what we'll end up doing here in this in this area, not only for uh, the Trinity Garden area, not only for the nearby area, but we're doing this for, for the entire city of Houston. Matter of fact, we are helping folks from all the way from Huntsville to Beaumont. And this is what we do. God called us to do this thing, and we're trying to do it with all our might, but we can't do it without you. Our plans here now is to extend over this area here we are going to try to do, uh, we're going to do uh, a place over here to where we can do storage. And then to the back, we are, what we're going to do is we're going to put a 75 by 100 building to the back to where we can turn around and give out hot showers, hot meals, and change your clothes. They'll be able to get haircuts. These are for the people who are at a place where they're on the streets. They'll be able to come in and change clothes, get their hair done, get their nails done, get stuff like that done. Do Get on the computer, look for jobs, looking for assistance. Here at Living Water, what we can also do, we're helping with Social Security, help you, helping you with phones, helping you with uh, different areas of trying to with your homes, with your getting homes. And we even started a new deal to where uh, we uh, allowing they allow us to be a dealership with U-Haul. Then we started another day where we consummated it this morning to where those college students that need vehicles, those elderly people who need vehicles, they have vehicles that have, have is tore up and the case is no more good. We're gonna be in a place to where we will give them a grant. The actual grant will be a vehicle, the car, or the little small uh, vehicle that they will need to get around in. These are some of the programs that we're doing. We have many partners. Uh, Apostle Gibbon with True with True Word. We have other partners that are coming on board. And we're about to we're about to expand this thing all over Houston, and from Houston we're going uh, throughout the Texas. From our Texas, we're already looking at Louisiana. We talked to the mayor there, getting ready to open up a place there uh, under the direction of one of our other partners, uh, Doctor and Apostle uh, Darcy. He'll be looking at at the prison system there reformation of that particular place and then we're spreading with the grace of God doing what he's doing we're going to turn around and make it with your help we can get there this is my mighty good friend mighty God help us uh, uh, Chris Diaz had uh, enough trust in us enough faith in us to let us borrow him and he's here to show, it, show their support and what they're doing over here he is uh, another fine gentleman. Uh, you might know him as Councilman Yabro, Michael Yabro here. I want to just let you know that there are some good people that are knocking by, know what they do, help us get down when we just get down. You want to say the thing? Well, no, I just, I just know that Pastor Stern is doing a significant, a great thing for the community. It's very much needed as you see all the people coming in and out. And so we continue to support what he's doing here. I echo the sentiments of uh, former Councilman Yarborough. Uh, Pastor Stern is doing a great job for the community. The Council's office will enjoy coming out and spend a little time with him. He gives uh, back, and that's what we like to do with the constable's office. Um, and it's just a great fellowship. Thank God for him. Oh God gives him many more visions in order to provide for the community. Thank you so much.